Let me show you a little trick if you're handling form submissions in JavaScript that'll make your code much more reusable. So in this example piece of code, I have a video form and I add an event listener to it. So I handle the submit and then I have my callback function that has the event inside of it. Now, most of you probably already know that to handle this in JavaScript, you have to call prevent default first to make sure that the regular default form submission doesn't take place. But then what we might do is make a fetch request and oftentimes we'll define where it is that we're sending the request by typing in the URL or by typing in the method or by creating a new piece of form data. Well, did you know that you can actually use the incoming form from the current target to reference its original action and method? That way you don't have to replicate the URL that you're submitting this form to and then the method as get or post, probably post. You can just use the built-in data that's already attached to that form. So you can define it in your form and then define your click handler. And now the submit handler is relatively generic, which means you could use this on other form submissions as well.